Welcome to TBRE 2020's virtual launch event. This event is designed to uh, essentially acknowledge the work that we did, um, to celebrate that and to uh, say thank you to everyone who supported the team along the way and to show what, what we've done over the past year. So we'll begin with Sam taking us through the technical details of the vehicle and what we plan to do and then we will uh, eventually end with the final reveal of TBRE 2020. The design and engineering of Team Bath Racing Electric's 2020 car has followed a clear-cut design direction to retain the car's fundamental hybrid chassis structure and single motor topology for stability but to introduce new designs, concepts and solutions car-wide to maximise the potential of this package. The most visual change on this year's car is the introduction of a full CFD developed aerodynamics package but notable also will be the limited slip differential in the drivetrain, compressed rear packaging by using a new inverter and relocating the radiator and rear brake, and new front and rear suspension arrangements with carbon fibre elements. We pushed ourselves such that no detail has been too small to ignore, with reliability, serviceability and adjustability at the forefront of all our design. The result? A highly optimised, reliable and truly competitive open wheel racing car that has extended our use of composite materials and advanced manufacturing techniques to offset the additions and match the sub 200kg weight of its predecessor. In addition to the visible, TBRE 20 boasts a wealth of new and optimised designs in line with our philosophy, and here's a more detailed summary from each of our sub-team leads. This year we developed both halves of the hybrid chassis to be lighter without sacrificing stiffness. Whilst the carbon fiber monocoque at the front provides a lightweight and torsionally rigid cockpit for the driver, the steel space frame at the rear provides ample access to the car's tractive and cooling systems. Significant emphasis was placed on mass reduction. Through the use of ANSYS ACP simulations and physical destructive experimentation, the sandwich layup structures on the vehicle were optimized locally to meet Formula Stern regulations and globally to ensure overall stiffness. A lighter and more adjustable pedal box has been developed, along with a new firewall design, improving the ergonomics in the driver environment. Earlier this year, the team conducted a successful test of a lightweight aluminium honeycomb impact attenuator at Cranfield Impact Center. And a manufacturing protocol was developed for our carbon monocoque, drawing from the experiences of the build of our first hybrid monocoque chassis last year. TBRE 20's vehicle dynamics is an assembly of over 950 components, each and every one carefully designed or chosen to accumulate to a 7.5 kilogram weight reduction against the previous year's system. Design started with the tyres, with a drop to using 16 inch hoosiers on all corners, leading to a revision of the rear suspension kinematics. The narrower rear chassis facilitated improved geometry, and this was complemented by integrating an 18 position adjustable aluminium anti roll bar. A switch to direct actuation simplifies and lightweights the front suspension and introduces our first metal 3D printed parts of the car. Revised uprights and spindles compress the in-hub assembly and mount our new custom cut brake discs. These are designed to channel braking forces through a surface area 800% increased versus conventional floating rotors, which combined with a more aggressive pad compound and relocated larger rear caliper can stop the car from 60 in under 20 metres. Adjustability was a key focus of the design, with a continuously variable toe angle, caster, scrub radius and ride height on all corners complementing the flexibility of our lightweight, four-way, adjustable air dampers. Development of a validated full-car vehicle dynamics model in multi-body software, Adam's car, enables us to conduct sensitivity analysis on all these adjustments and aids their optimal tuning. Representative load cases generated by the software have provided high levels of confidence for mass saving design work, validating the calculated loads for FEA stress analysis of all components. Pairing these with physical pull-out tests has proven out the use of carbon rods with bonded aluminium inserts, and these now feature universally throughout the suspension and steering assemblies. This year's powertrain consists of a single motor to rear driving the rear wheel through a chain drive. Our main objective was to extract the maximum potential out of the setup, aiming for a lighter rear and improving the car's weight balance. We repackaged the whole rear, narrowing the chassis by 100mm 
improving and simplifying the high, the high voltage wire routing and cooling loop routing and finally reducing weight. The powertrain presents two main novelties. Firstly, the introduction of a limited slip differential on the rear axle, which will help us in the insurance and other cross events. Secondly, we added a 3D printed heat exchanger in the cooling loop. Taking advantage of additive manufacturing technologies, we managed to reduce the volume threefold while maintaining the same performance. Throughout this past year, we've been working very closely with the university and with IAPS to improve our dyno testing facility. And uh, we got it to a level where uh, various tests could be performed on the motor and the inverter and the cooling loop. And this will undoubtedly be very important for, for us to get the, the powertrain ready for competition. So for the first time in TBRE's history, this year we wanted to implement a full aerodynamics package. And the reason why we haven't been able to look at this in the past is because aerodynamic devices are things that are good to have, they can provide good benefits if engineered well, um, but if engineered poorly they are nothing more than a waste of time, money and effort. As we now have a fundamentally strong base for the rest of the vehicle, now is the time to actually start investigating and looking into developing a high quality aerodynamic design. Obviously being the first year and as having relatively little experience, um, we weren't expecting to produce the world's most complex and most advanced aerodynamic package ever, but instead just something relatively simple with a high degree of flexibility and adjustability um, to allow us to approximate the accurate, the accurate design in CFD and then to actually optimise it in the real world and tune the aerodynamics in real life with real testing and we could then use that as feedback into our development process for the future. So it's all about learning and developing to help not necessarily our year but the years to come. This year's electrical system refines the functionality of previous with a focus on reliability and robustness. Our MRAX 228 axial flux motor provides 8 kilowatts of power per kilogram and is paired with an Emissio H300 inverter. Combined with a chain dive reduction ratio, this can provide 700 newton meters of torque to the rear wheels, which this year will be controlled by an in-house developed traction control system. This is all powered by an in-house developed battery accumulator, which features the latest cylindrical cell technology. Its composite carbon fiber sandwich structure casing contains 714 Sony Murata VTC6 cells, providing a peak voltage of 428.4 volts and a maximum capacity of 9.36 kilowatt hours. Integral fans and ducted air channeled by the car's aerodynamics cooled six subpacks. Optimized ECU software and a revised set of 12 PCBs ensures effective control of all electrical systems. Built-in fault monitoring and a digital dashboard display instantly reports faults to the drivers and also allows the display of the car's speed, temperatures and power consumption. Significant effort has been put into traction control systems and telemetry concepts, with increased data gathering allowing the team to use a neural network to tune the traction control whilst we're prevented from testing on track. For the first time, the physical electrons have been fully modelled in CAD, allowing a secure and protected routing path to be established, and EMI interference fully considered. The mounting of all connectors and design of custom back shells has minimised the risk of harness damage. 3D printed casings with integral sealing provides increased resistance against liquid ingress whilst allowing easy access to all circuits. After the major leap forward in design in 2019, the focus this year was improving reliability and meeting deadlines to ensure the car would run in every event at competition. We looked over every system on the car and made improvements where needed whilst also improving the access to PCBs by redesigning the packaging for the electronics, allowing for easy access in the events a fix is needed. Using the stable foundations from this year, 2021's focus can be aimed at accelerating TBRE's data acquisition and analysis, enabling for greater understanding of the dynamic movements of the car to better improve the designs of the physical component. In addition to the technology and design featuring on TBRE 20, we've also invested time into improving our internal processes, validation and documentation, and into exploring future technologies. 2020 has seen the detail of our CAD modelling advance to the next level and this has been paired with exploiting the capability of our PLM software to properly manage multi-revision part releases. Investigations into advanced control and artificial intelligence continue 
as well as manufacturing innovations such as curing Onyx 3D prints in our carbon layups. Also designed and manufactured is a lightweight, high voltage, electromechanical rear wheel steering system to be retrofitted and tested on last year's car. This features sensor dependent fuzzy logic control to influence your response of the vehicle through actively controlling toe of the rear wheels during transient cornering. Testing and validation is always a really interesting challenge at FS. With limited resources, budget and having to balance our time between our degrees and other time commitments, a year really isn't a very long time for the multiple revision detailed design, manufacture and assembly of a race car, in our case made up of over 5,500 components. On top of this, we as a team have learned from experience that ample testing time is not something that we can afford to sacrifice in favour of a perfect design. This year, by merging early mornings with late nights and combined with a new upgrade based vehicle build plan, we were able to enter our manufacturing phase before Christmas, putting us on track for build completion in time for testing in late April. A target of 150 kilometres of on-track testing for the Italian and British competitions would have given us time to do a full reliability shakedown as well as to optimise all aspects of the vehicle setup. In summary, we might have been quiet on social media this year, but that's a testament to how focused every member of the team has been on the design. Over the past year, we have conceived a car which has all the promise to be TBRE's best today. And with the first revision of next year's, which is being developed through full car simulation, being scrutinised in a virtual Formula Student UK this week, there's no reason to believe that when we can finally hit the track, we won't be setting the timing screens alight. So, welcome to Team Bath Racing Electric 2020. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'd just like to say thank you to all the sponsors who've made this possible and to all the university staff and supervisors who have allowed TRE to be so successful and I hope that it continues for into the future.